morning. Well, hey, we've got some good news in the weather department. Finally, a dry day yesterday, seeing the sunshine, maybe a little repeat here today, Lindsay. Yeah, we're going to look out as far as the rain chances today go. They're going to go up, though, as we get into the overnight tonight and then tomorrow plan ahead. It's not looking great for Friday outdoor activities. We've got that chance for some of these storms that you see now moving through northern Illinois. They're going to work their way in our direction over the next 24 hours. Meantime, it's been a pretty quiet overnight for us, and I really don't anticipate the rain to make it here until after about sunset tonight, especially for the central part of the state. The farther north you go, the sooner this rain's going to move in. So we're all clear as we get our morning started. If you did not have an opportunity to get out and do some yard work yesterday, we're still going to get a break from that rain today. And if you want to get in on these cooler temperatures, the sooner the better. We'll drop back near 70 at 6 a.m. Around 69 degrees during the 7 o'clock hour will be our morning low temperature, but then we're quickly going to rebound. As the sun comes out, 83 degrees by noon today, and we are on our way back into the upper 80s, lower 90s, well above average for this time of year for central parts of the state. 91 in Columbus, same deal in Shelbyville. We'll go 89 for a high here in Indy. Now, rain chances are going to remain low especially as we get into the afternoon, perhaps an isolated pop up with the heat of the day. But the later in the day we get, especially after sunset, that's when that rainfall opportunity increases. So as we walk through the timeline today, noticing we'll see those fair weather clouds developing with the heat of the afternoon. Here's lunchtime and then staying dry through five o'clock for that evening drive home. Here come the storm chances, though. This boundary is going to move into the northern tier of the state, so I am anticipating by about 8, 9 o'clock, areas north of Kokomo getting in on some of these storms. And then as this boundary continues to slide through the state during the overnight and then on Friday, that strong storm setup moves into the heart of central Indiana. So this is your Friday outlook. Rain chances tomorrow remain high. We've got scattered storms in the morning becoming more widespread in the afternoon, near 100% chance of rain for your Friday afternoon. Here's this latest timeline as well. So we get into our Friday morning. Heavy rain's already going to be in place for the morning rush hour. This line of storms actually moves through in the afternoon. Could get some damaging wind gusts. And keep in mind, we've got a very saturated ground, so any of this heavy rainfall could lead to some localized flooding. Here's 4 p.m. Scattered storms continue into the evening. A lot of this go, though going to wrap up as we get into about nine o'clock as this boundary sinks to the south, and that's good news for your weekend plans. Stray showers mainly south on Saturday, but a lot of us have a completely dry day. Both Saturday and Sunday, the weekend looking good with cooler highs in the low 80s, and then more sunshine to get next week started.